Reason has pitch editing tools built into its sample editor, and this is designed to work on monophonic vocals. And it works in a similar way to many of the other industry leading solutions like Melodyne or Flex Pitch in Logic or Vary Audio in Cubase. If you double click on a monophonic audio clip, ideally vocals because that's what it's designed for, you'll see that Reason has automatically analyzed the pitch inside this clip. If I just solo this up, they say that girl will drive you crazy, but they don't really know her. You can see that the displayed pitches correspond to the sound of the vocal and the notes that are being sung. They say that girl will drive you crazy, but they don't really know her. And what it's done is it's mapped those pitches across a keyboard here, as you can see. If I hold the command key on the Mac or control on Windows and press on any one of these, girl, girl, I can hear each slice. Would, would drive, drive. So it bases its analysis on transient detection and also on pitch. You'll note that for any one of these pitches, you get a kind of toolbar up here which enables you to precisely control each one. Now if you wanted, for example, to very quickly pitch correct a bunch of audio slices, so here's my They say that girl will drive you crazy. Here's my little section. I could go pitch correct. They say that girl will drive you crazy. So in this case it's not a massive change because the singing's pretty much in tune. But you could see there, if I undo it, that it has pulled those pitches, those various different pitches, closer together and therefore closer to the musical grid. It's also possible to transpose entire sections of audio by picking them up all together and just moving them up or down. Like that. They say that girl will drive you crazy. Obviously there are limits to that because you can't transpose things too far without them sounding a little bit strange. You can also transpose individual notes. They say that girl will drive you crazy. And the fact that it's basically sliced this clip up into its individual notes means that you can move pitches around without destroying the clip, which is really nice. If I just undo that. There are also some other interesting little tools like transitions, note lengths, formants, and vibrato which we'll look at in a little bit more detail next.